to Into the Fractalverse with me, uh, John Cordy. That's obviously my name. Uh, the idea with these videos is that uh, G66 asked if I would do some kind of regular content and uh, this is for them to upload on their channel. Sometimes you might be seeing it on mine. The idea is to take some sort of concept or amp or piece of gear within the Fractal universe and sort of explain what's going on with it, explore it together. I'm not an expert in any of this, but I think it's uh, kind of fun to try and learn some of this stuff together. Also, if you're wondering why I don't use the PC editor, I think most of the other folks that do make videos for G66 and most of the other folks who make videos for Fractal in general, or with Fractal in general, tend to use the PC editor for me, I tend to use the device itself because if I'm using the piece of gear on a gig, I want to be really comfortable making changes with it. And that's kind of the only way I've found to, to really get used to this stuff is to just get stuck in using the actual hardware. So that's why I edit on the, the hardware itself. If you want to check out the tones that I've built, there's a, a link in the description below. Gumroad is the place to get them. That's kind of a dynamic folder where if you save the link, you can keep coming back for the new tones that I will create for this. I hope that represents some sort of kind of fair value, um, you know, sort of like the price of a coffee, get access to some of these tones. But I'll also show you some of these concepts. Today, I wanted to talk about dialing in a perfect lead tone. There's a few elements that are, are really um, useful in the fractal world for doing this. And I just wanted to dive in and show you these. Some of them will be within the amp block, some will be in the cab block, but I hope this will help you. Thanks for stopping by. Feel free to like and subscribe. I think you'll find loads of useful stuff on this channel if you're into this stuff. If you are thinking about well, who are you to say what the perfect lead tone is, I am nobody. But what I'm saying is that there's you know certain ways that you can dial in what you're really looking for. Uh, whatever that might be, it's probably, I think, easier than anything else within the fractal world. So Here's where I've ended up with this. I think this was initially dialed in for a Les Paul. And you should notice, hopefully, that this is a relatively simple preset. We've got an amp, we've got a cab, We've got a delay, we've got a reverb. I'm going to out two. If for any reason you try my presets and you wonder why you've got no sound, I use output two for the jacks. If you do this, you'll probably find it works for you. Um, right, so first of all, uh, I'm using the ODS 100 HRM. Now, this is kind of how I've got it dialed in on the actual amp itself. So we've got the gain up relatively high, 9.41 the overdrive at 8.48, the presence pretty low at 1.09, the bright switch on, the bass at 5.25, the mids at 9.66, the treble at 4.69. That would get you a certain result. But we've also here on the second page after tone, we've got the input EQ. And this is a really, really important page, which can actually make things work massively well uh, depending on what pickups you've got. So I'm just going to reset this to be basically flat. So we've got definition 
and low cut. So without this, here's what this preset would sound like. <laughs> Now the definition will basically kind of shelve things so that you're starting to skew towards a brighter kind of more cutting tone or if we go in the opposite direction a darker tone. I think that's a really, really, really powerful way to, to quickly make quick changes to your lead tone. So if you want a more stringy kind of clangy, bright kind of lead tone, you're thinking, well, this is a bit muffled, lacking in definition, turn the definition up, but basically it's kind of lowering the ratio of highs to lows within your tone that's one aspect that you can change obviously i'm showing you the extremes there the other thing is you've got a low cut that you can bring in and uh, this is kind of another aspect that you could use to just tame some of the, the kind of dark stuff coming in <laughs> So those are two aspects which I think are really pretty crucial um, and could get you some really good results quite quickly. Uh, let's go back in and I'll just show you. I had the low cut initially at 355 and definition at 3.16. So I've shown you extremes there. You can obviously dial these in to be more subtle. <laughs> Now, another place that we could do some really cool stuff is on the preamp. And you see on here, instead of using drives, you could consider using actually this here. So you've got different boost types, um, neutral, T808, all of these kind of different types up to the shred boost. And this is essentially like sticking a pedal in front of the amp, except for you don't have to use a block to do it. And if you set a modifier here, this is what I've done. I set it to be scene controller one. And then if you go back to your main page here, uh, then controllers, and then you go to your scene controller one, you see on scene four, I've got it turned on hundred percent. And on the other scenes, I've got it turned off. So what then happens is you can hear the difference. Um, if I go on to scene three, for example, so I've set myself up to have without even changing any blocks or anything. So I get a really quite a seamless switch. Two different tones, one slightly low again, and then one with a boost. Check out the boost. I think that's a really, really, really important place that you could really hone in on some of the stuff that you want to do. You can even change preamp tubes. You've got fat switches, cut switches, bright cap, high treble, saturation drive. That is a, another crucial element. Um, you've obviously also got other aspects like you change your power tubes and some of this other more complicated stuff as well as speaker and output compression. Loads of stuff here that I don't really use. 
here's the, the, the kind of last point for me. I like to use cabs that I'm familiar with. Legacy 103 is one that I use often. If we go down here in the cab block, we've got a thing called a high cut and a high slope. Now this is really crucial for getting rid of what Alan Holdsworth kind of used to, you know, call, he would give a tone, a shave and a haircut. And we're talking about taking off some of that kind of high end sizzly stuff potentially. So if we listen without this high cut, you'll hear, hopefully. <laughs> Things are a bit different, and if I bring this down, we get a much smoother. A really, really important tone shaper. The higher the slope, so I have the 6 dB per octave, the more aggressive the cut. But that's a real other key element for me where I can dial in my tones to sound exactly how I want, have as much of that kind of sizzle as I want or as little as I want. I can take that high cut down. <laughs> So that's how I would go about dialing in the perfect lead tone. Obviously delay and things like that you can dial into taste. Um, I personally really like sort of Andy Timmons, Eric Johnson inspired settings where you've got sort of around 380 on one side, 500 on the other, that sort of thing. <laughs> But that's how I dial in lead tones. Um, those are what I think are the most crucial elements for you if you're looking to do this stuff. So again, just to recap, the input EQ, really important. Two key settings there, the low cut and definition. If you're finding things too mushy, then consider upping your definition uh, and maybe bringing in a slight low cut. And then the shred boost or you know any kind of boost within the preamp section of your amp settings that's a free kind of way to use a boost without having to resort to using a block and it gives you kind of seamless tone switching. This might also be a really good way to get between clean and higher gain tones as well without changing amp blocks and changing channels if you're wanting to switch. Um, and then within our cab block, the high cut and the high slope, working out a relationship that works well to get rid of the fizz and sizzle that you're maybe not wanting especially if you're using like a strat with a bridge pickup to thicken up that tone we can kind of dial back some of that high-end harsh stuff i hope that helps and uh if you want this tone um it's made up of a few kind of cool little sounds and Um, but yeah, you might get some joy out of that. That was what I was using in the introduction. Uh, I'll drop that into the Gumroad folder. I'll catch you in another video soon. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, thanks to GC6, G66 for asking me to make some videos. Um, this is how I think you should go about figuring out your lead tones. Um, give that a try. Cheers for now. Oh, if you've got other suggestions for videos, leave some in the comments. And I'll be sure to, to get and try and do those. Cheers.